The Pale Duke, Salt and Decay. Autumn's Angel Chapter 1 Volume 2. The mainstream media only helped to rip us apart with their political bias. Blue and red talons misleading the masses. I fear this grief will haunt us forever. Only sorrow binds our hearts like a child abandoned by its father. America has become the ultimate deadbeat dad. And where is the government, you ask? The two-party system picked the carcass of America clean well before the power grid completely collapsed. Many believe that the politicians were hidden underground, tucked away in doomsday bunkers as the rest of us rot. We must strengthen our safety social net. We must fight for economic reform. Most of the time I'm in half meditation, one foot in and one foot out, like watching two movies at the same time. I exist, but I'm not really there. Sometimes my thoughts aren't my own, and I don't care enough to change it. But life never was supposed to be easy. I am constantly on edge, afraid to think, afraid to blink. I feel like I've been engineering my own downfall by building this mental wall year after year. A tourist inside my own body, the unwanted house guest. The gifts of constant paranoia. Guilt ridden by my complete lack of empathy for others and hatred for community. Anarchy is posing as order, and life is a bowl of contradictions. I am stubborn and powerless as I hold the ticket to my own jail cell, trapped by these thoughts. For context, I should start at the beginning. I was born breached to a mother with deviant ways and a father who was cold and controlling, often smashing non-threatening household items to get his point across. What they both had in common was a knack for verbal abuse. Oh yes, when it rained, it poured. I was not a very popular kid in school. One of my many failed social experiments. I did what I enjoyed, art, music. And I had very little interest for the things that were uninteresting. Relationships with the family was strained at best. I felt an ominous force overtake me, a deep depression that you could almost taste. I think I wanted to hurt the world around me more than I really wanted to hurt myself. Zero emotional connection, 100% detachment, and it showed. By the age of 15, I was cutting myself. This would, albeit temporary, fulfilled my need for attention. I was a ghost. The silent minority within my own home. Sure, my parents were hard-working tax numbers. We never went without food or shelter. But the buck definitely stopped there.